Nitin Srivastava is live with us on this story. Nitin, a lot of allegations have been made by the sports ministry. The wrestlers, of course, welcoming this move. But now it seems to be turning political as Brijbhushan Sharan Singh goes to J.P. Nadda to meet him. What does this mean for sports? What does this mean for the WFI now? Well, uh, Anisha, there are two three things. First of all, uh, Bhushan Sharan Singh meeting J.P. Nadda itself, a big step uh, which has been taken by, I think, the Bhushan meeting the, the, the party chief uh, uh, Nadaji. So uh, as of now, uh, you know, uh, the sports ministry after suspension, uh, you know, uh, they are planning uh, that ad hoc committee which was formed earlier, that uh, ad hoc committee will uh, take over W5 day-to-day -day functioning and all the activities. But on the other hand, uh, Sanjay Singh and uh, the camp is getting ready to uh, move the court. They are planning all uh, the legal activities. They are looking after the pros and cons, especially keeping in mind the sports court. So uh, as, as of now, you can say and you can, you know, understand that what exactly uh, th this meeting uh, uh, is going to, you know, uh, give us a result. Uh, uh, there are probably, there are, the chances are very high that uh, uh, we might see a big statement, a big decision uh, by Bridge Bhushan Sun Singh uh, by this evening. He may, uh, he may say that, okay, I'm putting my uh, membership from the, from the uh, uh, from the par from the party. So uh, let's see uh, what exactly Bhushan Sharan Singh is going to uh, uh, do. As of now, the meeting uh, is expected in, in a short while. But uh, uh, this is a strong statement and big step which has been taken by the ministry. Uh, uh, Nathan, when we talk about this, uh, what has happened right now with the way the kind of allegations that have come out, even in the a sports ministry's letter, the, uh, the allegation that the control of the WFI still seems to be out with the former office bearers, that they are still running out of the premises of the former office bearers, at, at the same time also saying that uh, the working that has, been, uh, that has happened is completely against the sports code as well as the WFI's constitution. Could you just explain for our viewers what exactly has the WFI done wrong? Of course, at the same time, we're also dealing with the fact that the World Federation has not yet revoked the suspension of the uh, Indian uh, Federation. But what exactly went wrong here that the sports ministry has finally taken action despite so many days of protest by the uh, wrestlers? First of all, Anisha, uh, this newly elected body was expecting that, you know, after uh, uh, conducting the elections and appointing the new office bearers, uh, the, the parent body, which is UWW, will certainly lift the suspension from WFI. But uh, uh, as of now, things are getting very serious for WFI as far as the administration is concerned. I remember, Sports Ministry has taken a strong steps, so trending uh, the WFI administration, and they are expecting that uh, in, a, in a month of... Uh, uh, in, a, in a time of one month, there will be a new elections and uh, then only a new body will be formed. So till that time, the ad hoc committee will take over. The second question, uh, that why, what exactly went wrong for this uh, new elected body? So they were functioning uh, at wrong stage. Uh, remember that they had a meeting at the Bridge Bhushan Sun Singh resident at the executive body meeting, which is not as per the sport code and also as per, uh, not as the constitutional. Uh, so that is why uh, ministry was not happy with all those steps, and that they uh, they took a strong decision saying that uh, there are three four uh, the, uh, type of uh, you know uh, wrongdoings, and that is why we are uh, uh, suspending the newly elected body of WFI as of now. All right, thank you very much, uh, Nitin, for joining us with that uh, perspective. A lot is happening with this dangle for justice as the uh, WFI functioning has been suspended now by the sports ministry.